This is a lesson on what polynomials are, also some of the names we give to polynomials, and some of the terminology that goes with polynomials. We call this lesson the names of polynomials, but that's only a part of what we want to look at. Let's define a polynomial first of all. A polynomial simply is a word that means many terms. And in order to figure out what that is, we have to understand what a term is. Whenever we write any function or any polynomial, the terms are the parts of that polynomial that are separated by plus and minus signs. So whenever we want to write a polynomial, uh, we just write it out by separating it with plus and minus. For example, if I write 3x squared plus 2x plus 5, the terms are 3x squared, 2x, and 5. Each of those are separate terms. This polynomial has three terms. They're separated by plus signs in this, fact, in this case. We could have also separated them with minus signs. They would have been terms just the same. Polynomials cannot have certain things. Uh, one of the things they cannot have if they're going to be called a polynomial is they can't have a negative exponent. If we wrote 3x to the negative 5, that's a negative exponent. It's certainly allowed in algebra. Uh, it represents a fraction, but we can't have that if we put a negative exponent. It can't be called a polynomial if it's on the variable. There would be nothing wrong with the a negative exponent on the 3 itself because 3 is just a constant and that is actually a number but you can't have negative exponents on the variables. Second thing you can't have for it to be a polynomial is you can't have variables in the denominator which is kind of what that negative did. Uh, if you put a negative in the denominator I mean if you put a variable rather in the denominator uh, like 1 over 3x that it cannot be called a polynomial when you do that. The third and final thing that you cannot have if you want to call it a polynomial is you can't have fractional exponents. You can't have 3x to the one-half power. That means a root. Uh, that would be a square root, the same thing as a square root. So you can't have fractional exponents on your variables. Again, you could have 4 to the one-half power. That's just a constant and that actually represents a number, but you can't put fractional exponents onto the variables themselves. So keeping those three things in mind that you cannot have, let's look at how you would actually write some polynomials. This is a polynomial. Hopefully you would know how many terms this has. This one has one term, two terms, three terms, four terms. Notice the terms are all separated by plus signs in this case. Again, I could have changed one of those plus signs to a minus sign, and if I did that, uh, then it would be perfectly okay if that sign that I just marked out, I just erased that, if that sign were gone, it would be a negative sign, it would be perfectly okay. Uh, also, let's look at a, a simpler version here. This could not be a polynomial because it has a negative exponent. And this is one of the rules that we have, is you are not allowed to have negative exponents in your polynomials. So this one would not be a polynomial at all. This actually is a polynomial. This is a polynomial with one term. There are no plus and minus signs here. So it only has one term, 3 times x squared, and that makes it a single term or a one term polynomial. This would not be a polynomial because now we have a variable in the denominator and that is not allowed. So that's not a polynomial at all. This is also not a polynomial. Even though it appears to have three terms, it's not a polynomial because it has a variable that's raised to a fractional power. That would be like a square root, and we're not allowed to have that. Uh, we're also not allowed to have it if we write that in root notation. So this time it's 2 on the cubed root of x. The cubed root is not allowed because that's the same thing as x to the one-third power. Uh, using your rules of exponents and fractional exponents. Uh, so this is also not a polynomial, uh, not in the definition of a polynomial that we have so far. Uh, so some of those things like that stop our definition or stop it from being a polynomial by definition. This one is a polynomial. 
This is actually a polynomial with only one term, and we have a name for this. We call this a monomial. That prefix mono means one, and so you can kind of remember that with that mono part of that, meaning one. So it's a single term polynomial. We give that name a monomial. If you have two terms like this, we call this a binomial. I like to think bicycle. A bicycle has two wheels and it starts with that same prefix bi which means two. This one has two terms, one term, two terms, separated by a minus sign in the middle. So this is a binomial. Then if we add one more here, this one has one, two, three terms. This is called a trinomial. Again, if you want to use that same analogy, think tricycle has three wheels, and a trinomial has three terms. So this is a trinomial. Whenever you get a, another one on there, such as this one, one, two, three, four terms. When we get to four or more terms, we just go ahead and use the term polynomial. We just say this is a polynomial. Remember that means many terms. So I should get that word right. And it's just a polynomial, in this case, of four terms. So polynomial means anything four or more. It's also still a word that can be used for one, two, or three. But polynomials of four or more don't have a specific name. So that's some of the terms that go along with the word polynomial. It tells you what a polynomial is. The names we give to them based on the number of terms monomial, binomial, trinomial, and then polynomials of more than uh, four or more terms. And those are our terminology that we use whenever we talk about polynomials, and it's an important concept in algebra.